like a hint of murder. Oh, we're all like a bad boy though, don't we? Yeah, not a fucking serial killer. Hello, Chris. Morning, everyone. The ring light is making me look very orange today. I promise I'm not actually orange. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. It is day five of the reading rush. Can we believe it? No, we can't. <laughs> I have just read this morning, whilst I've been like getting the video ready and stuff, I've read about a quarter of Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging by Louise Renison. This is for the prompt of read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. It's a British cult classic. I think I have read this before. I think I read it when I was younger. I don't think I read the whole series. There's like 10 books in this series. I think I maybe read like the first two, but it definitely rings a bell. So I think I read it and I'm enjoying it. I'm like an hour in, it's only four hours long, the audiobook, so it probably won't take me long to read. It definitely hasn't aged great. There are some very questionable things said. <laughs> and you read it and you're like, <laughs> What I'm about to say could hurt some people, but I don't give a shit. But for the most part, it's just a funny book about a young British teenager who like doesn't really fit in and is just going through that awkward teenage phase. We've all gone through it. Like 13, 14 is a nightmare. You do everything wrong. You do crazy stuff to your hair, to your face because you think it's what you should be doing, but it's really not. And it's just about that. And it's just funny. Like it's just something lighthearted. I definitely want to finish my sister, the serial killer today for the prompt of read a book in a different continent. I am 80 pages into this and really enjoying it. It's only 240 pages long. So I reckon I can definitely finish this today. It's about a woman whose sister is a serial killer. <laughs> Today we're gonna go blackberry picking. Um, so I'm gonna go do that now. And then this afternoon I've actually got a live panel that I'm taking part in for part of the Young Adult Book Awards because I'm nominated for Best Bookish Post for my independent bookstore video. And so I'm gonna be on the vlogging tips panel with Keris, Ashley and Gavin. I feel like my brain is fried. I'm not gonna be, <laughs> I'm vlogging every day and I'm like, I don't have any vlogging tips. Just pick up the camera but we're gonna it's gonna be a lot of fun I think so that's at 4 30 yeah it's gonna be a busy day but if I finish this I'll feel happy with myself like I feel like this is just the only thing that I have to do today amongst everything else <laughs> I'm sitting in the same place as I was this morning. Oh well. <laughs> so I just finished my sister the serial killer. I thought about checking in like two thirds of the way in, but it's so short that there wasn't really much to say. So this is the prompt for reading a book in a different continent. So I've now completed six out of the seven prompts and this was my last physical book. So I'm gonna have to pick something else to read for one of the prompts I had double up on, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'll, maybe I'll decide that this evening. I'm not 100% sure what I wanna go for, but this I'm gonna give four stars. I really enjoyed it. It's not, I wouldn't describe it as a thriller. Like a lot of people, I think it's often classified as a thriller, but it's more kind of like just literary fiction with like a hint of murder. <laughs> oh, we all like a bad boy though, don't we? Yeah, not a fucking serial killer. Like Chris. I really enjoyed the character study in this, like looking at how our different characters reacted to the events that were happening in the book. It did not end in the way I expected it to. It went down a different path. I really thought that the opposite was gonna happen to what actually happened. Not much really happens. Like it, it definitely feels like a short story, but it's so engrossing. It keeps you really engaged throughout. I, I loved the writing style. So I'm really interested to read anything that and kind of breakaway it puts out in the future. The girls, the sisters past plays a big role in this book actually, which I didn't know going into it. We flip back to their childhood fairly often and it ends up playing a big part and things are hinted at, but you're never 100% sure of what exactly happened in the past. Yeah, four stars, really enjoyed it. I've now finished four books.
apologies if you can hear the PlayStation in the background. <laughs> So I'm trying to decide what book to read next for the reading rush and I think the prompt I'm going to double up on now is a book starting with the because I read the last for this but the last also fulfilled the prompt for read a book that matches the colour of your birthstone so I'm going to keep it as that. I'm going to read another book for the. So I've gathered up all my the books and two that are immediately eliminated are The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This, just because I'm not going to read this in two days, like no way have I got a hope of reading this in two days. Impossible, impossible, impossible. And The Tea Dragon Society, just because I want to save this for another readathon. We have The Fair Fight by Anna Freeman, which is a historical romance about female boxes in Bristol in the 18th century but actually looking at it the the font is pretty small on this so I don't think I could read this in two days either then we have three thrillers the first of which is the family upstairs by Lisa Jewell this is about a baby who is found in this house with three decomposing corpses in the kitchen below who have obviously been dead some time but the baby has been well looked after so it's obvious someone has been coming into the house. Then we have The Silent Patient which is about a woman who killed her husband and since has refused to speak at all. And then I have The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. This is about a girl who receives a letter saying that she's inherited those of money and although she knows that the people who have died aren't related to her she needs the money so she carries on the pretense and goes to this really old house to go and like receive her inheritance and I want to make my way through all of Ruth Ware's stuff so this will be my th uh, third of hers that I would have read and then last which isn't a thriller I, I, I have The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant um, so this is like a Les Mis retelling I think I did want to buddy read this with Molly so I don't think I'm going to be reading this, even though it is perfect for this. So that leaves me with the three thrillers. I've read a lot of thrillers for this readathon, but I think thrillers are always just a great thing to read for readathons. Which of these three do you think I should read? I like the sound of the family upstairs. That's how I'm going to read this. Do you not like that? I, I do. Like baby element. Just need a bit of space if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll do this one then. So I'm gonna read The Family Upstairs. I need to take that sticker off. I'm gonna go read, I don't know, maybe 30 pages of this and then I'll come back to you with my initial thoughts. <laughs> just now like 35 pages of it I've literally read the start I just spent a lot of time watching One Direction and Jonas Brothers videos and that's the truth oh, I don't know how to feel about this yet from what I can tell we are following the baby who was found in the future along with who I'm guessing are the teenage children of the couple who died the couple's who house it was and who i think is the baby's parents but that hasn't been explicitly stated yet and i'm just not sure if i'm feeling the writing style like it's very domestic thriller very straight to the point very oh, how do i explain this writing style i can't think of a way to describe it but you know what i mean like every domestic not every domestic thriller but like there's just that particular style of writing that's very popular in the genre and it's not my least favourite thing but it's not my favourite thing either. So I feel good that I've started this tonight and that I've got two days to read it. I've got two hours of Angus Thongs of Full Frontal Snogging and then I'm going to read at some point I think a graphic novel that's on the script and then that will be seven books in seven days if we can do that so hopefully I can get a lot of reading done over the weekend tomorrow I definitely need to update my page numbers like how much I've read each day into the website I have not done anything on the website like getting my badges anything I've done none of it so I need to get all that done I will see you tomorrow bye